Hello everyone, welcome back and this is Naveen from UI Brains. In this video, we are going to discuss the various types of functions. So let's have a look. Uh, let me open paint. There are actually are three types of functions we can define. Uh, the very first one is uh, an isolate function that is going to be isolated function. So what is isolate function is? Uh, a function which does not take any parameters it does not return anything but it does some process okay so it is an isolate function and you may have another type of function that is be uh, like this let's change the color and uh, this one so what does difference between these these two is so this function will take sin to parameters okay a number of parameters it takes some parameters it does some process inside but it does not return anything this is another type of function uh, you may have another type of function so here um, this is an input and this is an output okay so this is also a function so which takes in a set of parameters it does some process and returns back the results okay so we have a three types of functions one is isolate function one is a, a function without written type and function with written type and one small condition here is the input number of parameters can be n number of parameters we can define but ultimately when you're returning something from a result of a function it must be a single value okay uh, so let's see uh, all these examples programmatically. So let me go back to WebStorm. So let's see a function without parameters. So I just take uh, function greet and here I write console.log. See no input parameters. I'm just writing uh, console log. Good morning and I save it and I have to call it let's say greater so if you are uh, execute a function so this will execute good morning so you got to answer as good morning and this is of the first type of function so which does not take any inputs and no output no written statement so this is this one and one more thing is uh, this is actually called as a normal function okay uh, either you declare a function in this way because another way also you can declare a same type of function uh, what is that is a function expression so what is function expression is you can assign the function definition itself as a value to a variable is called a function expression generally what is function expression concept is you can even declare a function just like a variable so how you declare a variable is let uh, name is equal to john right and uh, if you want to assign number you will assign number or you want to assign as object you will assign an array same like that you can even assign a function so this is actually function expression this is a new way of uh, declaring a function i tell you how to declare a same type of isolated function uh, in this function expression method okay let's see here uh, let's greet me because i can't write the uh, same name as a function because all function names also like are variables you must not redeclare the same name so i write a separate name is equal to a function uh, what this function does is the same message I'm gonna write good morning and how to call it based on its name because here we don't have a name name is actually uh, this one so here um, if you want to even understand sir what is this contains if you can do a uh, console dot log of greet me if you can do the greet me you get the answer as a function because it's its value is a function if you don't want to print a value I mean I want to execute a function you can simply do a greet me so you get the answer 
good morning so what i'm saying is either you declare a function like a normal function in this way or else you can even declare a function in this way so in going forward i'm going to use all functions in this format okay so small syntactical difference but both are valid in your jasi program okay but this is actually called as function expression and this is called as a normal function okay and then next uh, uh, we have another function that is which takes in some parameters we'll see this one um, a function with parameters so function with parameters is let's um, just take some other name uh, I'll just say uh, wish me is equal to a function so which takes in two parameters one is name and age okay so what I'm writing is let message is equal to I write uh, hello uh, the name hello mr. name and then uh, you are uh, so and so years of age years old something and then I write a console log message okay so this is a function which takes in the parameters but doesn't have any written type so this is about this type of function now uh, how to call it it is expecting two parameters name and age you have to pass it so just say wish me I'm gonna pass uh, John and then age 40 okay so name is gonna be the John and age is gonna be the 40 and you get the answer hello John your 40 years old so let's check here hello John your 40 years old fine and one more thing is in JavaScript function there is no strict rule to be defined it means uh, if even though the function expecting name and age sir if you don't pass the age what happens what happens is nothing will happen you won't get any error uh, this function is going to execute happily without any errors but the problem is if you don't pass the age this age will be taken as an undefined as a value so you see here John and undefined years of old because you are not past the age if you pass the age you get the answer as 40 but if you don't pass it takes as undefined and even sir if you don't pass uh, any of the data I don't pass any data but I still call still name and age will be undefined so hello undefined you get you are undefined years of old but we are we should be very careful in uh, you know calling a function so because we don't have any strict rules in Java see, but we should have some sense to calling a function uh, sir what if suppose I pass 40 and then John see the order of parameters is based on how you have written okay how you are calling a function based on that so first parameter match with the first parameter second parameter match with second parameter so you should also very careful in this so you get the answer hello 40 your John is of old so it's a little weird right because why it is weird you're passing weird inputs okay so you must have to be very careful so what is that expecting and what you are is calling okay same thing right so if you give a garbage input and you get the garbage output so same story here so you should be very careful in calling a function uh, so this is a function which does not returns anything uh, let's see an actual function which takes in the parameters it does some process and returns the results as well so let's see this type of function um, now let's take a function with written type so I say let uh, sum is equal to a function so which takes in two uh, variables one is a and b and uh, here I am writing let the result is equal to um, 2 into uh, a plus b and then I written c previously we have a console log but here I am writing the written written means the function is giving you back the result of the processing logic so written result okay now can you tell me if I say sum of 10 comma 20 
so if I pass sum of 10 comma 20 so can you guess what is the output here uh, 10 and 20 so 10 20 so 10 plus 20 is 30 13 to 2 is 60 and you get the answer as 60 can you check what is the answer now no answer this is the previous one right uh, no 60 printed why because we don't have any console log here correct yes uh, observe closely it is not uh, like other function previously what we did and it's a difference so this function takes in two parameters it does some process and returns the result so the function is giving you back a result so you have to catch it and print it or you can pass to other function so how to catch the result of a function is uh, if any function having its return type you must have to catch it with a variable so let's output is equal to sum you must have to call in this way if it is having written statements so now what happens is let output is equal to i'm calling a function it means the value of output is going to be the written value of the sum what is the written value is result what's the result 2 into a plus b what is a plus b 10 plus 20 is 30 into 2 is 60 result written assigned to output if i say console.log of output then you get the answer as 60 so whenever a function is having written types you must have to catch it and then print it or else after catching the value you may have to pass it to the some other function to uh, to make some other processing logic also because uh, functions are dependent right uh, you can you may pass to some of the functions as the parameters okay so this is uh, another concept of uh, different types of functions and even uh, here the functions are the function parameters are just numbers and strings okay so in the next video we'll see how can you pass a strings and arrays and objects uh, as a parameters to another function okay so keep watching and please subscribe to my channel and we'll meet in the next video thank you